I selected three rhizomes from this tray of Venus flytraps of the cultivar King Henry to be placed into the next larger pot, which was five by five by six and a half inch. At the start of the year, I took three of the larger rhizomes and placed it into this five by five by six and a half inch tall printed pot. And the three grew in mostly long fiber sphagnum with a bit of peat in the center of the pot with more long fiber sphagnum at the bottom so that the rhizome was wrapped inside the long fiber sphagnum and the roots extended into the peat. And let's go ahead and see what has happened in one year in this five by five by six and a half inch tall printed pot. So over here, I have taken the rhizomes out and this is what we have coming out of that five by five by six and a half inch pot. The rhizomes have grown quite large over the course of one year. And this is one of the larger ones. You can see that it expands across almost four fingers. And all of them, or a large part, a large majority of them are all rather large like this. You can also see that they are all growing at kind of an angle. The rhizomes are all uh, pushing off to the side because they were all dividing. And um, any one of these ones that were growing at an angle had either one or two divisions attached to uh, the bottom, also growing at an angle, so that they were just lying adjacent to one another. And they were all emerging from the same spot and all growing at an angle. But they were easy to separate. And now I'm going to transplant some of the larger ones into a large pot that I've already prepared. This is an 11 by 11 by 13 tall plastic white pot, which I have put at the very bottom about two inches of long fiber sphagnum to cover basically the holes at the bottom. And then uh, the long fiber sphagnum is mainly long fiber sphagnum, a really good grade with some pumice and perlite mixture. Uh, and in the center of the pot, in the mi middle portion of the pot, I have added on top of the long fiber sphagnum, the peat, a really high grade of peat that comes out at zero PPM with um, perlite, and some pumice as well. A loose mixture uh, because the Venus flytraps really like fluffy, loamy soil. Um, and since I'm not a millionaire, I'm going to use peat in the center. If I had unlimited resources of long fiber, I would just put all long fiber. And I would wrap the long fiber around the white part um, leaving only the very, very top of the white part exposed. And I would wrap the roots also with long fiber, almost like a burrito. And then I would insert it into this peat mixture that I've made. And I've been able to get pretty good results just doing it this way. It's more economical, but the long fiber keeps the rhizome uh, airy and not, not getting compacted with peat and uh, yet the peat allows me to use a larger pot without expending too much too much uh, resources. I will then uh, put long fiber sphagnum over the top and basically sit the bottom of each bulb at the very top of this peat, peat mixture and uh, basically have the long fiber around the white part at the very top of the pot. 